This wings are not wings are I pull it down, it'll look pretty much to the waistline. So now we'll what we'll do is we'll pull the narrow end and we'll pull the knot here and pull the narrow end. Looks like a disaster. <laughs> Alright. Hello friends, my name is Tarun Sadiwal and welcome back to our channel. You all must be wondering why I'm wearing a tie today. While we just discussed in our previous video that we are not required or nobody expects us to wear a tie or a suit while working from home. Yes, friends, you are right. I'm neither working from home today nor uh, I'm wearing this tie for work from home. I'm wearing this tie because I wanted to share a skill which all of us as a professional should know and learn. How to wear a tie or learn how to wear a tie. Before we learn how to wear a tie, it is also important to understand when to wear a tie. You can most certainly wear a tie inside the suit. You can also wear a tie with a bomber jacket or a sports jacket. You can also wear a tie if you're wearing a v-neck sweater. But there are occasions like cocktail parties where you can go with a tie or without a tie. But make sure you do not wear a tie over polo t-shirts. It would be really very inappropriate. While wearing a tie gives you a smart and professional look, it is also important to understand which tie knots to wear for a certain occasion. There are several different types of tie knots. Thicker and broad ties with a woolen inlining are better wore with a Windsor knot or a half Windsor knot or a double Windsor knot, which is also called as full Windsor knot. While thinner ties with polyester lining can be wore with a forehand knot. If you did not understand the different type of tie knots I just referred to, you can kindly let me know in the comment section so that I can make a complete video on different types of tie knots and how and when to wear them. In this video, let's try to run some simple tie knots. That is half Windsor knot, a double or a full Windsor knot and a triple Windsor knot. And of course, these type of ties are not for professional events. These are more for a cocktail party. So let's get rid of this tie. To start with, we'll first learn how to tie a simple Windsor knot. So there are three types of Windsor knots. One is half Windsor knot, one is full Windsor knot or which is also referred to as double Windsor knot and there is a triple Windsor knot. This Windsor knot is named after the Duke of Windsor who is sometimes credited with this invention. Now to start with, let's start with the half Windsor knot. This is one of the most simplest and common knots that is in use. So basically a tie has two ends. One is the broader end and one is the thinner end or the narrow end. So before you start, make sure you have this narrow end towards somewhere uh, up till your chest and this broader end somewhere up to your waist. What you should do next is hold this broader end and put it over a narrow end like this to form an X. Now just roll this broader end like this over the narrow end and hold it like this. Now you see you have a formation that looks something like a Y. Now with this broader end, pull it through this handle of X and pull it down. Now you see you have something like a butterfly formation here and you have this narrow end here and this broader end here. Now take this broader end and roll it over this formation like this. It's something that looks almost like a tie already and take this broader end and roll it through inside of the Y something like this. Now you see you have a formation here which something which looks something like this and make some space so that you can put the broader end through this like this and make sure it's the front of the tie that comes through this formation so before that hold these two ends like this and try to adjust the hands here or whatever you call it I don't know and now Hold this narrow end and the knot from here, like you can see, I'm holding it. And you'll have to pull this narrow end to the bottom and push simultaneously push this knot towards the top, up to your neck. So let's do this. And now as you can see, you have a very clear and sharp looking half Windsor knot. Now coming to a double Windsor knot or a full Windsor knot, I'm going to use a broader tie because it generally the knot of the win, uh, double Windsor knot is a little thicker and so it goes go good with these broad ties that you have. So in the f uh, similar to the first uh, half Windsor knot, 
will have this narrow end towards the left here uh, which will be somewhere up to your chest and this broader end at the bottom until your waist or below that so what we'll do is now we'll hold this narrow end and take this broader end over the top to form an X like we did it for the half Windsor knot as well but in the half Windsor knot what we did was we rolled this to the right to the right however in this double Windsor knot what we are going to do is from this X itself we'll take this broader end inside and we'll pull it through here now you see you have some you have something like this now with the same broader end we'll pull it to the other end of the Y and we'll pull it inside through this top side now you see you have a more clear butterfly formation sort of thing here now what we'll do is with this broader end we'll wrap it over this butterfly formation like this and we will pull this broader end through the inside like this so now we have this narrow end here with this v-shaped formation for the knot over the butterfly and then we have the broader end now make a little space over here in the v-shaped formation and try to pull this broader end out from here and make sure that this broader end has the top tie part facing in the front now similarly you have both the broader and the narrow ends here hold them properly and try to adjust this handles or hands whatever you call them and hold this narrow end and this knot from here and pull the narrow end downwards and pull the knot upwards like this so now as you can see you have a double or a full Windsor knot how does it look let me know in the comment section all right now coming to the third knot for the day which is the triple Windsor knot it is generally a combination of the half Windsor knot and the double Windsor knot so for this what you'll have to do is in a similar fashion you'll have to have the narrow end up to your chest but in this case you'll have to have it a little higher than the previous double Windsor knot because you need the length of the tie at the, towards the broader end and we'll let it go loose below the waist and now what we'll do is similar to the half or the double Windsor knot we'll form an X over here as you can see I've done and now what you'll do is you'll hold it here at the formation or the intersection of the X and you'll roll it something like this now you'll roll it over again while holding this and you have rolled this twice over the narrow end of the tie now with this broader end you'll pull it through here the Y formation and pull it out so now you see you have a rolling here and you have this broader end outside here what we'll again do is from the below we'll take this broader end here and pull it again through this hand of Y or whatever and now we see we have this rolling that we done here at the narrow end now we also have a butterfly formation at the top so what we'll do next is we'll roll this broader end over this butterfly formation and we'll take it pull it from inside so now you also have the length of the butterfly formation but generally it's best to keep the narrow end shorter because you might need length up to your waist now pull this broader end through the formation something like this and yeah and hold this both narrow and the broader end here like this adjust your hands or your tie now hold while holding the narrow end and the knot here what I would do is I would put the narrow end downwards and push the knot upwards up to my neck like this and then you can in the last adjust this at the top here and now you see you have a triple Windsor knot it's a little thicker knot but makes you look more sharper and it it's generally better than the narrow ties that we use this is the classic way of wearing a tie so friends I hope you learned how to wear a tie if you did not already 
And in case you like this video, kindly also share with your friends and colleagues and also do hit the like button. In case you did not, uh, kindly let me know by disliking this button. And also, if you want to know uh, what are the different types of knots and how you can learn them, kindly let me know in the comment section so that I can make a completely different video on that. And also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do hit the subscribe button at the bottom there so that you do not miss out on any of the videos that I post. Thank you very much, friends, for watching this. Have a great day. Hey.